Hello, magical people. Whoa, I'm wearing a hat. I don't usually wear hats that aren't beanies. So I recently, recently as in like two days ago, received a Tracer pop vinyl. I pre-ordered it and it released a little earlier than usual. Not really important. I got her. She's right there. Really freaking cool. And then, as you can probably tell from the cap, maybe, maybe not, uh, I got the Loot Crate Gaming Crate for this week and it said it had an exclusive Overwatch item. It's another pop vinyl of Tracer, but I'm really excited because this is the skin I use as Tracer in the game. Let me take Fallout out of my Xbox and pop in Overwatch. Because <laughs> I want to show that to you guys. Hold on, give me a second. All right. So, yeah, that was interesting. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you an interesting story of what happened to me at work at Chipotle. So, watch. So, um, I work at Chipotle. There's, there was an um, E. coli thing that went on a little bit ago. Corporate, you know, has done plenty about that. We've changed a lot of our policies. We get our uh, fresh produce from different places now. Um, so, yeah. That's a thing. So, I thought this was all done and over with. After we've been harassed for a couple of weeks back in, a couple months ago, we were harassed for a couple of weeks of, you know, idiot customers. I'm Not all customers are idiots, but the ones who think they can harass us about that sort of stuff are idiots. Ugh. I thought we were done with that. On Saturday, I noticed my manager got a phone call. And I don't, I don't pay much attention to it, but I'm standing right next to her. I'm dividing out the tips because I'm getting ready to leave. It's, it was 9 o'clock. I was leaving. And uh, she was still working because we still had another hour before we closed. So I'm just standing next to her, and all, and all I hear is, How old are you? How old are you? And then she goes off on this... <clears throat> pardon me. She goes off on this tangent about... You, have really, you really have nothing better to do than... You know, call up Chipotle's and ask if we can have a side of E. coli. Or E. cola. Because I'm guessing that they're fringing off of the Ebola thing. So, E. coli or E. cola. I don't quite remember. That was a couple days ago. I've slept since then. <laughs> so, that was a thing. And prior to this, a couple months ago, uh, we had some punk 15-year-old or what, whatever. Pardon me for the Overwatch music. We had some punk 15-year-old whatever who was pointing at our chicken going, that looks like it has a cola in it. And it's microscopic. You can't freaking see it. But beside the point, beside the point, that's just rude. And it was the same manager who he was telling that to. And she just started going off on him. And I said, next time that happens, let me science all over them. Trust me. I know all about this. I've taken that. Remember that microbiology class that I sucked so hard in? The one microbe that I happened to know a lot about was Escherichia coli, E. coli. So I said, next time, next time this happens, give me the phone. Give me the customer. I will, I will science all over them. So I did that. I said, give me, give me the phone. Give me the phone. And she hesitantly, you know, gave me the phone and said, go back, you know, go back into the office. I said, I, I lied a little bit. I don't usually tell little white lies, but I did a little bit this time. I said... Thank you for contacting Chipotle. I am currently holding a master's degree in both biology and microbiology. I will be happy to answer any questions you have about Escherichia coli at this time. How can I help you? And she goes, she sounded like she was about 12. Either 12 or probably around 20s. You know how some people can sound like they're 12 or like in their 20s or whatever. It did sound like, and I'm really trying not to profile or anything, but she did sound like an African-American female. It had sort of that that sort of sound in the voice. She said, uh, I've got to go. And then hang, hung up. Before my manager and three of the other employees came back to the office to hear me science all over them. Because they just rushed in like, I can't wait to hear this. I'm like, they're done. I, they hung up. They hung up. So I did, I did a little white lie, but it was kind of funny. It was funny. Because I really could answer the questions, you know, I wasn't going to say, I got a D in microbiology, you know, it was the only D I had in college, because it's a class that was geared toward, you know, doctor doctors, toward medical students, and I'm 
an education student. I mean, I'm not saying education students are dumb, but I'm not geared to take a pre-med microbiology class where questions were, patient presents with this, 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 what do they have, how do you treat it, and what do you do about it? And I'm like, uh, because this is all information I should have known. That was like the first month of class. Anyway, I digress. So, yeah, that was, that's a funny story, and I felt good about it. So, yeah, over, back to Overwatch. Going to Tracer. Uh, I'm going to swap this skin back to her classic skin. Hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a whole deal about this. Come here, Tracer. So, this is the one I, I bought, Tracer. This is her original skin, if you don't know. Okay, and I guess this is a bit of an unboxing. I don't do unboxings anymore usually, ever since I did a couple of Loot Crate ones. Just because, I don't know, I didn't really feel good doing them. I just, they, they were kind of boring to me. I like opening things and stuff, but I don't know. So, this is the tracer that came with the Loot Crate, which is freaking awesome. The paint's kind of wonky on that. Ew. Nonetheless, and the skin I use is the sporty skin, which is this one right here. So I think, I actually think that's really freaking cool. The paint ew, is wonky in several places. Ew. But I think that's really freaking cool that I have the actual skin that I use for Tracer. So I just think that's really cool. I don't know. Am I going to put them side by side? Yeah, I'm going to put them side by side. Hold on. You're in my shelf now. Need to set them up next to my uh, Fallout, Fallout, Fall Boy, uh, Fall Day Vault Boy bobblehead. There we go. I got it eventually. I don't know. I can't really put them side by side because there's not a whole lot of space here. That's the only bad part about this is I have this shelf of awesome stuff, but I ran out of space. So to remedy that, I've completely made a second shelf. I've emptied out the shelf below it and I made a complete second shelf. Where am I going to put you, Tracer? Where am I going to put you? Um, I guess I could do this. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Ba -ba -da -da. There we go. And then... I made a whole second shelf. So yeah, actually, let me show you what's in this frame really quick because I don't think I've talked about this. Um, the day I accepted a teaching position, my horoscope, my mom found this. My mom did this completely. She like cut this out, put it in a frame, everything. I think it's really freaking cool. My horoscope for the day I accepted my teaching position is... Uh, make travel plans um, if it will help you gain insight into something you want to pursue, etc., etc. Find a mentor or pursue a career in teaching. That last bit, pursue a career in teaching. And that's the day I got my teaching career. So I think that's really cool. It's a little newspaper clip that was cut out. She circled it and put it in the frame. I just think that's really cool. I just wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, let's see what else do I have in here. Uh, breakdown. You know what? Why not? I'm just going to do a breakdown of what I've got here. All right, Lego Dimensions poster with Portal and Doctor Who. Uh, graduation ducky that Bryn gave me. A little spider made out of pipe cleaners. It has, a, it has an really interesting story to it from my student teaching. Tracer, Tracer, uh, the, my D&D &D set of dice. Um, the Black Friday bullshit box from Cards Against Humanity. A Dementor's crystal ball. I've got two Minecraft torches. Um, a fizzy uh, plush that I got uh, that's from Sunset Overdrive that I actually got for winning a contest. Doing a photo shoot of my cosplay of Sunset Overdrive with Liz. You can see more details about that. Um, in other vlogs, um, I forget his name, but it's a little Lego Dimensions guy. Um, Minecraft Diamond, Rubik's Cube TNT, and then a little Rubik's Cube that was actually used in one of Mystery Guitar Man's videos, and that's his signature. Um, Discord, uh, Creeper, Babam, Turret. This is actually oil. My aunt and uncle went to Florida around the time of the BP oil spill when President Obama was down there speaking. Ah, uh, the video cut out. So, I had to delete some stuff. Okay, about the time President Obama was speaking about it, and they scooped up some of the oil with sand and, ooh, shells, and put it in a jar, and actually got that for Christmas during the White Elephant. I love our family White Elephant. It's amazing. 
um, portrait of the TARDIS that my Aunt Katie actually drew. You can see if I have her book. She actually is an author, and I have one of her books around here somewhere that she signed for me. Um, I can't find it. It's on my shelf. It's, it's, it's behind this. I'd have to pull that out and all these out to get to it. But yeah, um, an aploma, which actually is something that I think is really cool. It's like a little statue version of my diploma for graduating college. Hold on, I'm going to show you this. This is really freaking cool. And it's, it was actually my big graduation present for my parents. And it costs like $500. And it is heavy as sin. So, yeah. University of Central Missouri. Bachelor of Science in Education. And it has my full name right there, which I'm not going to show. Class of 2016. And on the back, it says Drumline Honors College Biology Unified Certification. So I think this is really freaking cool. I love this thing to death. And it is heavy as a mother. Jeez. And then I have my little zombie pig man and little er zombie pig man, which I think is really freaking cool. Story about the pig. Um, I had a little Minecraft pig that was similar to that zombie pig man, and I had him at laser... When I went to shoot with laser team, and I lost it on the way back. So um, mom knew I was sad about this because I really, like, really got attached to that pig because it was at laser team. And got me a new pack because it came in like a random pack thing. And it was a zombie pig man. So I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So, because it's like, it came back from the dead. So I thought that was kind of funny. I missed a couple things on the other side. I'm going to go back to that in a minute. Uh, chainsaw I got from Griffin's Tent at RTX. Uh, a dog tag that says Laser Team January 2016 Rooster Teeth. I saw it first. So when I went to the Rooster Teeth screening. A bug that I used to wear on a necklace uh, for my first OC back in middle school called Parasite. Um, the Little Blue Piggy, which you can, can find more information about going back to my really early vlogs. Um, a monkey that I doodled on a lot, which was the point of that monkey, I believe. A little army guy with a roost, with an achievement hunter pin poked into him. He's kept up by a little strip of duct tape. Um, a little couple dino dinosaurs that um, are supposed to represent, you know, your um, sudden but inevitable betrayal. I just thought that was kind of funny. I got that at, like, um, one of those... One of those places where you, like, play games and you get tickets and get prizes, that kind of thing. Uh, Sunset Overdrive cover that I actually won with this. I didn't... It wasn't originally supposed to be with the prize, but they're like, your submission was so amazing, we're including this. So it's signed by a lot of the developers, which I think is really cool. Um, autographed albums from MDK, who is one of my favorite dubstep artists, if not the favorite dubstep artist. So I've got Jelly Castle and Rise, both of his albums from Kickstarter. I think I've got, in there, I've got both of the labels of what numbers they are. And then I've got Hank Green's Perfect Strangers, uh, Incongruent, whatever, that album. I say album to CD. And then, actually, I have to move Tracer and the, the dice a little bit. I'll show you more about my dice here in a second. I have two uh, Garbage Pail Kids that I got from Cards Against Humanity's um, Hanukkah thing. So, yeah. I had Dad sign it. I had some of the uh, puzzle makers sign it. Yeah, I got those off eBay. Ta-da. Because they were doing that after the whole thing ended. I've got a Yoda Pez dispenser back there behind the mushroom. And then I've got my Lego Night Bus. There's a story behind that, but it's not something I'm going to talk about right now. I don't even know if you can see that. There's a Lego Night Bus back there with Tyrion Lannister on top of it. Ah, <sighs> There's the top shelf. Um, but down here, I've got Mini Minotaur. You know. He will cuddle your soul. Uh, I've got a squee, which I got from a friend of mine at college. I've got my Snorlax that I've had for a freaking decade. I've got a hedgehog plush, a um, bomb bird, and the red bird from Angry Birds. And I've got this little guy, nuts and bolts, little tenor drummer. And I've got the cymbal player back here. And I've actually got a snare drummer, too, over here that I removed when I was organizing the shelf. So that's a thing. Um, coming back, an autographed Piff the Magic Dragon's Piftacular deck that he had running on Kickstarter. If I can set that back up without it falling. My limited edition Fallout controller, a couple of metal bugs that Liz got for me, and I still need to make the third one. The third one's my favorite, and I wanted to spend time and do it right. My um, perk poster for pre-ordering Fallout, a chess trophy that I got in fifth grade. Um... Cat bug, I just talked about that a lot. Tiki guy, freaking Deadpool, a little Dalek, and then a little uh, Peach Knee High float, which also has a story to it that I'm not going to tell right now. 
and then my actual my Game Boy Advance SP. This thing has been around a lot. I, I, feel, I always felt so special because I had the Onyx and Silver one. And then my Pokemon Blue with it. My first video game ever on Pokemon Blue. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn this on really quick and show you my party. Hold on, hold on. I think this is going to be really cool. Hold on. I'm going to turn up the sound. Let's do this real quick. Hold on. See if I can get this on the camera. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick up the sound. Oh, it's flashing red. Alright, who's my party? Uh, Pokemon. Alright, I've got Boo, my Haunter. Haunter being my favorite Pokemon. Level 34. He knows, what does he know? Lick, Confuse Ray, Nightshade, Confuse Ray, Nightshade, and Hypnosis. I have my Cloyster. Level 36. You know, Surf, Supersonic, Clamp, and Aura Beam. I'm sorry if this is getting boring for you. This is nostalgia for me, and I love it. I have Muck. Uh, level 47. He knows Fire Blast, Poison Gas, Minimize, for some reason, and Sludge. Then I have my Zapdos. Level 58. Thundershock, Drill Peck, Fly, and Thunder. And I can, like, fly through the Elite Four with this team in, like, two seconds, if I remember correctly. And then I have my Blastoise. Level 92. Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Surf, and Mega Kick. And then I have my Alakazam. Level 71. Uh, Psybeam, Recover, Psychic, and Flash. So, yeah. There we go. That fine. It cut out again, so I guess it's time to end the vlog. Even though I was about to anyway. Hi, Cisco. Meow. Oh, please meow, so I don't look like an idiot for meowing at you. Cisco. Meow. There you go. Hey, bud. So yeah, thank you all for watching me, my magical self, and I will definitely see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>